So today, anybody can download spectacular images of galaxies and planets and nebulae, all taken with the Hubble Space Telescope. But there's still something very special about seeing any astronomical objects with your own eyes through a large telescope. Up until about 10 years ago, the telescope that's in the NASA Astronomical Station was used for research by students and colleagues of mine in the Department of Astronomy. Recently, the Jaga Park District purchased the telescope and the Nassau Station in order to add it to the facilities of Observatory Park. So the amazing thing about where we are is that we're just about 32 miles from Public Square in Cleveland, but already it's a world of difference as far as what you can see in the sky. It's much darker, in fact, it's award-winningly dark, and it gets so dark here that you're rated to see stars down to what astronomers would say a visual magnitude of six, which is incredible when you're this close to a big city. It's just an absolutely amazing place to view the sky. In addition to being a, one of the few dark sky sites, this is probably the largest telescope in Ohio available for the public to use. Nobody grows up reading the American Journal of Physics. Anybody who becomes a scientist or engineer, it's because they were inspired when they were younger. And one of the best ways to do that is going out and actually having a look at the sky. Whether that's something relatively nearby like Saturn or much farther away, a deep sky object like the Andromeda Galaxy or the Orion Nebula, it would give you an absolutely amazing view of that just with your eyes. It's a telescope that was actually used by astronomers for research and by looking at it and using it, people can get a feel of how telescopes were operated before they get, became completely computer controlled. So at the moment, the telescope's kind of been mothballed. It's been sitting here in the woods alone for a few years, so it needs a little sprucing up. And so once we finish that last home stretch of the fundraising, we can start getting this building up to snuff to get it open to the public. We'd like to use the, what was the old uh, laboratory space below as exhibitory space. And then there's a chance to restore and tour the old living quarters that the technicians and scientists and students would use back when this was uh, a 20th century research institution. And then of course the main reason we're doing all this is for the telescope, so that we can get this thing aimed, following things through the sky, and sharing that view with people. It'll basically be the biggest public observatory in Ohio that you can come up to and look through. Most people today live in urban areas where there is so much stray light, it's almost impossible to see any but the very brightest stars and planets. This means that people are increasingly cut off from that part of the real outside natural world. You'll find that everybody that's ever gone to a dark sky site always come back. Wow, Peter, it was so amazing. I saw the Milky Way. I felt like I could just stretch out my arms and touch the stars. It, it's just a moving experience. And it's not possible unless you have a dark sky.